it is Thursday the 16th of May and we are heading off to Animal Kingdom today so it's our first time visiting the park this trip and I'm really really excited we've got fast passes today for Everest, Dinosaur and the Safari David is just applying some Factor 50 on his face because he got burnt yesterday did I? <laughs> my shoulders are crisp yeah the Volcano Bay Sun was uh something else we're not gonna moan though after we had those two days of horrendous rain yeah um and that's why i'm bombing myself today because yeah because we've looked so. outside and there isn't a cloud in the sky like it look, looks absolutely beautiful i don't know how well you can see that through here but it's just like a stunning day so i think it's definitely definitely going to be a scorcher we're planning to be in animal kingdom so we're making a little stop first along the way which by the time you see this video you'll know about it we're just gonna go film our trip announcement um and obviously because we're staying at animal kingdom lodge in february next year um it makes sense for us to just visit there on the way to animal kingdom because it's super close so we're gonna make a little stop there first and then we're planning to be our Everest fast pass starts at 10.35 till 11.35 so we'll arrive some point between that head straight for Everest and then it's just we're pretty much going to spend as long as we can there to be honest um I think the plan for dinner tonight is to either go to Rock and Brews um which we've seen recommended on Luke and Rich's vlogs. If not, we're gonna go to Disney Springs and maybe get a blaze or a chicken guy and look around the shops because we haven't been to Disney Springs yet. Blaze. <laughs> what was that? Blaze. Oh, David wants to go blaze. So I think that's our answer for this evening. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and spend as much time as possible at Animal Kingdom. He's now sun creaming me. Yes, slave. <laughs> you burn like a peach. Like a peach, it's bruised like a peach, babe. No, you burn like a peach. <laughs> I'm getting a really good angle of your bald spot. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> but yeah, that is that is our day. I actually feel really, really refreshed today because we didn't get back into the room until about half midnight I'm, last I'm night. I'm hungover today. Well, that's your fault. We got in at about half past twelve, but um. <laughs> Sorry, he's rubbing my arm with sun cream as I'm holding the camera. Um, God, babe, don't you know I'm trying to vlog? Um, we got in about half twelve and I slept through pretty much right up until twenty past eight and our alarm was set for half eight. So I had like um, like pretty much a solid eight hours, which I'm pretty chuffed with. Um, and that's the best sleep I've had since we've been here. So I'm hoping that's getting me on Have track. Have we even said about last night though? Like, the footage is going to be put in but did we even did we say something i can't remember i think we did yeah i think yeah because we filmed as we were coming back in the lift didn't we and we're talking about the carry i don't know how much of it is going to be like audible and uh, able yeah. to put in because but yeah oh shucks bar pub and bar yeah it's at stop number 10 on the iRide trolley. It was a great place, we definitely oh, recommend. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh, and I quickly want to point out today, I'm wearing my ugly shirt for Animal Kingdom. I bought this at like a, what, what was it, like a jumble sale type thing? But it was one of those ones where yeah. you put loads of stuff into a bag and you only pay by the kilo yeah, for what you've got. I can't remember who it was by, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And it was really, really good. And I saw this shirt and I was like, it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, so I have to get it. And it's got parrots on it, so perfect for Animal Kingdom. And now we must stitch. Oh yeah, you got... Yes, Ohana! Yeah. So, we will catch up with you when we get to Animal Kingdom Lodge. And we'll mostly be putting most of our Animal Kingdom Lodge in our trip announcement video, that footage. But um, we'll show you us nosing around a little bit. Because we want to have a little bit of a, a peek at what we've uh, bought for February next year. So, we'll see you then. Bye! Bye! So... We haven't filmed our announcement yet, but we're just walking around Animal Kingdom Lodge and the first impressions are, whoa. Yeah, it's pretty big, pretty awesome. It looks so cool. I'm glad we came to visit it because I know this sounds really weird because for some people this is like the ultimate, but this has never been one that I was like, I have to stay there. But the price was right and we wanted to try a deluxe so this is what we ended up going for and now i'm like really happy really really happy it's absolutely beautiful i just hope we get, I just hope we get balcony 
yeah. chimneys, balconies. Well, we haven't paid for a savannah view, but we don't know if they do balconies on like the other sides as well. I mean, it's an absolutely stunning resort. Absolutely beautiful. And it helps that it's a very nice, hot, sunny day because it looks even more pretty. Yeah. Thanks to the trackers for helping us to spot hidden Mickeys. You can spot him right there. Boop, boop, boop. is a 10 minute wait and it is one of the best 3D shows. I have to say it is quite scary for kids though. <laughs> You want to torment them. <laughs> yeah, it is just a little bit scary and I don't think Disney really express how kind of scary it can be. They had like four people around us. Yeah. Which kids. They literally have cast members posted down the side of the audience um, with torches getting ready to escort people out because it's just, you know, it just happens. The, the, you don't hear a lot of the show over the sounds of children screaming. So we have just stopped some food at the Yak and Yeti quick service. I've got some sweet and sour tempura prawns, which was the chef's special of the day. And David has gone for the Kobe... American Kobe cheeseburger. American Kobe cheeseburger. I think that's the same as the burger that they do in the actual restaurant, so it should be nice. There's a bit of an unnecessary wait. Yeah. They're like nearly 30 orders. Oh dear. Like after mine, like all the numbers. Oh dear. And like there was more coming out, and I was like, they're both for God. Mm. So. Oh well, we're gonna eat it now. And we're not gonna moan. So we finished up at Yak and Yeti. That tempura, sweet and sour tempura prawns or shrimp um, was one of the best quick service meals I've ever had at Disney. Um, if the Kobe you... burger was. Yeah, so if you come and they've got that. Um, on offer as one of the specials, definitely go for it. It was really, really good. Chef Daily special. Yeah, it was really, really yummy. I think it was about thirteen dollars, wasn't it? Thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, but now what we're doing is we're just heading towards Dinosaur for our bath pass. It is a busy day here in Animal Kingdom today, but we're here all day, so we're just going to take it easy because it's so hot as well. We're just trying to take breaks and drink a lot and all stuff like that.
um, a lot more bumpier than I remember. It's a lot more fun. It was good fun though. Yeah. We were in the front row, so it was really we had really good placement for like when the dinosaurs jump out and stuff like that. But I forget there was like a whole two minutes where it's just pitch black and you're just being frapping around and you're like, what's happening? Yeah, it was okay. It was better than I remember. Yeah, yeah that's if I said that right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm using it. Off. I'm not a fan of it. But it seemed longer. Yeah. It did seem longer. When we came off dinosaur. <laughs> We met Pluto and then we went and met Goofy. And while we were standing queuing for Goofy, um, I was just on my Disney experience and basically because obviously we're staying off site, we weren't able to get a flight of passage uh, fast pass for this trip. What I did was I looked on like, so we had the Safari Fast Pass, which obviously I do want to go on, but Everest is our favorite. So that was the one I wanted to modify. So I went looking at modifying the Safari one and actually managed to get a flight of passage just simply by refreshing the page over and over again and after about what 20 20 flips through uh, yeah. a flight of passage one came up for like two hours from now so really really excited and it just goes mm. to show that if you do that because my cousin is here at the moment obviously like who we met last night they had something similar happen to them last week they just did you say that we lost our safari because of the old us yeah yeah we did have to give one up to get it but we'll try and get a safari one later and then yeah then we just came back to the asia area of the animal kingdom theme park and we got um, our favorite ice cream which is the vanilla chocolate twist soft serve from the amanda per food truck i think it's called it's really really good it's 4.99 each before tax isn't it so i think we paid ten dollars 63 Or say photos because we just we just did it. The thing is as well because it's so hot. If we'd have tried to film it, it would have just become messy. But we've got pictures on our, on our Instagram from where we've eaten it in years before. <laughs> but then we just it came and needed. yeah. And now we've just come and found a little spot to sit in near Everest, uh, which is where you can probably hear the screaming. Um, and now yeah, we've got an Everest fast pass at five past two, so we've got about. Uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So we might go for a wander before then um, and come back, but we'll keep you updated. Cast member said is like a little hidden gem. 
So on the pathway between Asia and Africa, so just after you've crossed the bridge, once you've walked past the up show, um, as if you're coming from Asia towards Africa, there's a little walkway that leads just down towards the water. And you get like, you get just this perfect view of that in the background and you're right down in front of it, in front of a fence. And it was, it was just really, really good. There's hardly a wait yeah. for it. Definitely check it out if you're here. It was, it was a really good find. So, yeah. This is where everyone goes, oh, we knew about it. Like, what are you talking about? Unfortunately, our quest to find the beautiful baby Grace, the gorilla, was unsuccessful. Uh, it seems like mummy and baby were in hiding today. Squirrel! <laughs> but as David so rightly said, if you'd given birth three weeks ago, would you want a bunch of people shoving cameras in your face? So we will forgive. I think it was the one hiding behind a tree. Yeah, so we will forgive it. Um, baby Grace and her mummy for not showing themselves today but we're coming back next week so I do really want to try and get a picture because I've mentioned before that my nan um, loves gorillas and I like, always used to travel here with like my nan granddad like my whole family and my nan and granddad always say they wouldn't come back now it would just be a bit much for them um, so I like to try and get her a picture of the gorillas every time but although we didn't get the baby and the mummy there was uh, I think it was actually daddy boy. I actually think it was daddy uh, was very much pleasing the crowds today eating a big husk of corn watching us all go by yeah, I'd, I'd love to think what's going through his head because we're all there going oh can I take a picture he's just sitting here yeah his letters, going, it, it was like he, it was like he was watching a good movie at the cinema eating his popcorn he was absolutely loving it so yeah and now we're just heading to our flight of passage fast pass so really looking forward to that cool picture <laughs> Rub the belly. <laughs> David on Pandora. Can everyone see me? Yes. yes. Great. <laughs> Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. <laughs> 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 So we just rode Flight of Passage and it was really, really good. David didn't uh, get too motion sick until the, until the end. <laughs> oh no, don't overreact. Um, one thing that I will quickly say is that our camera batteries are failing us today. We must have uh, filmed more than we have on previous days. Um, so what we're going to try and do is uh, film some bits on the phone and add them in, but they might not be as good. But don't worry because we're coming back to Animal Kingdom and we'll try and film anything that we miss out on today.